In Blender, if we add an object, for example a sphere, we can see that the surface of the object is not very smooth. It is divided into some flat pieces. In this tutorial we will learn how to make it perfectly smooth. One easy way is to select the object, go to the object menu, and select Shade Smooth. It will reflect immediately. The surface now looks very smooth. But this is just a rendering effect, the actual geometry of the object did not change. We can verify it in the edit mode. If we go there, we can see no change to its geometry. So, this quick effect may work for some objects, especially if you are not going to modify them or not going to join them with other objects. In other cases, if you actually want to make its geometry smooth, you have to add a modifier. Let us first undo this effect by selecting the option Shade Flat. While the object is selected, go to the Modifier tab on the right and add a modifier called Subdivision Surface Modifier. As soon as we added the modifier, the surface immediately got somewhat better. If we increase the levels further, you will see a better and even smoother surface. Blender is actually adding more tiny pieces for each section of the surface. Let us also verify through the edit mode whether the geometry is changed or not. Surprisingly, there is no change. That is because we are yet to apply these modifiers. Let us go back. Before we apply the modifiers, please understand that we have one levels field for the viewport, and another for the actual render. We need to increase the render levels for the change to take effect in the final render as well. We can go up to level 6, but a level of 2 or 3 is sufficient in most of the cases. Let us now apply this modifier. Then get into the edit mode again. Now we can see the actual difference. The surface is now divided into numerous small pieces, giving it a smooth look. So, you may be tempted to use this modifier often, but remember that it comes with a cost. With more number of subdivisions, your rendering time increases exponentially. Please be careful to use it only when needed, and only as much as needed. Now, there are some objects, for example a cone or a cylinder, for which both of these techniques may fail. It will need more adjustments in our modifiers. We discussed it in another video, you can find the link of the second video below. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.